Hey, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a few key things you could do before your data science interviews, which will greatly increase your chances to pass interviews and eventually land your dream data science job. I get it, you've done lots of work to get interviews, then you get calls from the recruiters, you schedule interview and start to prepare for it. Besides starting hard and doing all the preparation, what else could you do to aid the interview? There are five guidelines I have summarized based on not only my experience, but experience from my data scientist friends who have landed multiple job offers and I want to share with you in this video. Let's get started. The first guideline is to know that recruiters are your friends and they want to help you. Before going to an interview, make sure you have a clear understanding on what to expect by asking the recruiters. Typically, a recruiter works with you to schedule an interview. He or she will tell you what topics you can expect, how long the interview is, how it will be conducted via phone or virtual conference call, and then ask about your availability for the interview. If the recruiter didn't mention the specific topics you could expect and just say something generic such as it's a one-hour technical phone screen, you could ask some clarifying questions. For example, does coding questions involve SQL or algorithm or both? What programming language is required? Will measure questions be asked? Should I expect machine learning or deep learning questions? You can send an email with these questions or schedule a phone call with the recruiter to go through your questions. This is especially important for small companies. Big companies like Amazon, Google, and Facebook have very structured interview processes and they may even post it on the internet. But for small companies, their interview process might not be structured and the interview questions can be very different from what you may assume by reading through the job description. Having a good understanding of what to expect in the interview can greatly improve the efficiency of your preparation, therefore increase your chances of passing the interview. This guideline is basically to remind you that when you are in the interview loop, the recruiter is the best person to get help from. The recruiter would love to help you get as much information as possible so you can do your best in the interviews. The second thing to keep in mind is don't rush, companies can wait. It's almost a cliche to emphasize that when it comes to interviews, there's no shortcut, you have to practice a lot. But still, some people go on to interviews with only a little amount of preparation, and they knew that, but they just didn't get more time to prepare for it due to various reasons. If you are in a similar situation, I want to let you know that you don't need to rush. Companies can wait. Once you get a response from a recruiter of your application, you don't need to start the interview right away. You want to make sure you have plenty of time to prepare before any interview. There was a time that I literally asked the recruiter if it's okay to schedule an interview after a month. And the recruiter responded, we are happy to give you additional time to prepare and schedule an interview for a few weeks out. So don't go to the interview until you are well prepared. Now you may have this concern. What if the company moves forward with other candidates if I keep them waiting? Well, whether the company is moving forward with others is in fact out of your control, but it's your choice to either go on to interview without enough preparation and fail it, or take your time to prepare for the interview and ace it. I think the choice is obvious. Guidance number three is to schedule interviews loosely. This is equally important, but it tends to be overlooked. For a typical data science interview loop, many companies have one or two rounds of technical phone screens followed by an on-site interview. And some companies may have a take-home assignment before on-site. You can find more information on the real data science interview process from the link below. For companies with a take-home assignment, 
you have to put other things aside and focus on the take-home assignment for at least one entire day. Also, interviews, especially on-site interviews, can consume a lot of your energy. So I would suggest you schedule interview loosely so that you have enough time to take a break and digest the feedback from the interviewer. Specifically, don't schedule multiple technical phone screens on the same day and don't schedule multiple on-site interviews on adjacent days. Guidance number four is to research the company before the interview. A quick research will help you understand what may be the business metrics a company uses and what kind of business problems the company is facing. The three major benefits of doing this are to understand interview questions better, to provide insightful answers, and to come up with great questions for the interviewer. Let me elaborate this. First, you want to get a sense of what product or service the company is offering and what problems that company is solving. Sometimes the interviewer may ask questions using the company's products as examples. If you have the context, it will help you quickly understand the problem and if you save a lot of time and if you make your communication with the interviewer smoother. Secondly, research the company's product will help you come up with deep and insightful answers. For example, if you are asked about your motivation for joining the company, you could answer it better by relating your experience with the company's vision and product. It will be much better than some generic or vague answers like you want to pursue something more challenging. Thirdly, if you research the company, you may have questions related to their products or problems they are solving, and those questions are golden. Typically, you get a few minutes to ask interviewer questions at the end of the interview, and if you ask questions based on your research, it shows your interest and effort. Those are definitely positive signs for the interviewer. So how do you research the company? Here are some ways. You can start from the company's product and service page. You can also Google if there is any recent news related to the company. Also, you can read the company's data science or engineering blog. The last thing to do before an interview is to read over your resume again. It's almost a guarantee that during interviews, you will be asked about your previous projects and the work experience. This is particularly important for on-site interviews. There might be a round of experience interview focusing on your past experience. It may seem easy to recall from your memory about an item on your resume. But believe me, after finishing one or more technical rounds, you will find it hard to remember the details of everything listed on your resume. Or organize your answers to highlight your contribution for previous project. So it's worth the effort to go through every item on your resume again before the interview. For each of them, try to think through a high-level overview and some technical details. Let me elaborate on this. When asked about a previous project during an interview, it's always helpful to first provide a high-level goal of the project, what the problem you solved and why it was impactful, to help the interviewer understand the background knowledge and the context of your project. It's very likely that the interviewer will ask you to dive deep into your project. Then you want to talk about the type of data you used, the properties and the uniqueness of the data, how you process the data, what methods you applied to solve the business problem, and what were some interesting insights. Thinking through these things for each item on your resume could greatly help you answer any questions related to your previous projects and work experience. I know this is very hard to get interviews, especially this is your very first job. So each opportunity is critical. I hope the five guidelines I have just shared can be helpful for your interview preparation. If you have any questions, feedbacks, or any topics you want to see, Please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I do read every comment myself and your comment may help others as well. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next video.